Okay, so let's do some more hair stuff here. The next thing I wanted to show is, uh, this is not new in fact, but it, it's the quality has been improved a little bit and I, I wanted to get into it, which is uh, using forces and dynamics and these kind of things with hair. So if we go in here, I'm going to go get a uh, go get a grid and I'm going to apply hair to it. And let's scale the hair up quite a bit. And I'm also going to go in here, maybe not that much here, that's good. And I'm going to go in here and rotate that around uh, right there. Now let's let's start to apply some forces on the hair. So right off the bat, okay, we got no dynamics, we got nothing on the hair. Let's go add some dynamics, really easy. All kinds of forces, sensitivity to forces, uh, stuff you can set on there, which I'm not going to bother with at the moment. So right now there's no real gravity. We're on we're on the moon of hair. So you just go on with hair and I'll go to apply gravity on there. That's the first thing you want to get. That strength is fine. Okay, so this is falling down. Now there's some basic ones. Obviously uh, a lot of there's a lot of call for hair blowing or hair tufts of hair being shot around. You can also use hair to drive uh, different character setup tools. I mean you can have it driving uh, cloth, uh, pieces of cloth or earrings or all, all kinds of neat things you can do rigging the hair to stuff. We'll get into more detail with that later. But let's say uh, you you want to put some force in there. So here I've got a simple fan. Now I can come in as I slide the uh, the amplitude up. Let's change the radius a bit. As I move the as I move this around, you can see it's it's uh, affecting the hair. So let's say change the lower the just increase the amplitude of the hair and move that around. So there's there's a lot that you can do with that. Um, having different gusts of hair pushing through stuff of wind. Uh, the other thing you can do uh, is obstacles, and obstacles open up uh, a lot of a lot of opportunities with hair. Of course, first thing you just don't want, want it crashing with your character. So let's go. I'll uh, get a torus and let's increase that. Go into shaded. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm gonna set this as a force. So hair. Let's see, environment set obstacle, and there's a collision sphere, avoiding, avoiding that object. Now, that's not enough. That's that's good enough for some simple effects, but obviously for most effects, you're gonna want to have the exact shape. So if you go in here, you take your torso obstacle, set that to actual shape, and the final touch is you select the hair itself and go put it on um, exact. And when you set it on exact, you can drag the torso around and you can actually get a little ring. I'm going to pull this up here, a little ring of hair. And when I pull that up, the ring follows. Can you see that that tuft pulling out there? And then it kind of slops over and drives right over. So there, there's really uh, great quality obstacles in XSI hair. They're interactive, they're fast and um, this this means a lot. These are the kind of things if you're if you're considering heavy production, uh, you need them to hold up very well. And and we're committed to uh, seeing our clients through bigger and bigger projects with hair.